South America, the land of dance and adventure. But I can't dance, so I'm here for the adventure. There are things here that will scare you and amaze you. You'll find incredible food and surprises on every street corner. But I knew if I wanted to live the search for waves like this, and I wanted to explore the coast all the way to Alaska, I wanted to wake up to views like this, rather than somebody snoring in the hostel dorm bed next to me, it was going to take a whole bunch of money, and I was going to have to buy myself a Volkswagen Combi. So I borrowed 1.4 million Chilean pesos from my good friend Ivan and went about the almost impossible task of buying a car as a foreigner in South America. This wasn't helped one bit by the fact that I spoke absolutely zero Spanish. That's it, we're off. I've got the fuck on. Finally, after all this time of waiting, a month of searching, fighting the government tooth and nail. Like, I must have been spent three whole days in those departments waiting, talking to bosses, escalating. No one understands my problem, no one cares about my problem. But now, finally, I've got the van. The adventure starts here. Woo! So I hit the markets for tools and supplies. I learned everything I could about engines from local mechanics and from my friends. I planned everything down to the last detail and then I went to work. In exchange for helping the Rodriguez family to build their houses in the morning, I was able to use this space and their tools to kickstart the adventure. Four months it took me to buy and build Capito weren't all easy. The learning curve with Spanish, engines and woodwork was steep. But the road was coming. Alaska was calling and I was about to start the biggest adventure of my life. Without the help of friends like Natty here, not only made all the curtains, but spent hours of our own time translating everything, helping me buy the van in the first place, I would probably still be in Chile now. Dan joined me for the last week of construction and helped navigate the roads of Chile, Argentina, Bolivia and Peru. And after putting the last touches on the van, I was finally ready to hit the road. Everybody told me that it would be hard, 
This isn't the way that people travel here. But despite almost daily problems, I wouldn't change it. This is definitely the best way to see this outstanding continent. So now I'm off, flying free, in search of more campsites like this, in search of more adventures and roads less travelled, to Peru and a reunion of epic proportions, to meet Pedro, the home of Chuyo, to start something special and to finally find some waves. I'll see you in Peru.